Intra ID is Microsoft's identity management solution, which controls all of your identities and permissions, which makes these the most precious resources you have. But the crazy thing is that there's no way to back up and protect Entra ID until now. AFI.AI is one of the few out there who has figured out how to back up all of the aspects of Entra ID, which addresses your everyday business challenges, such as recovery from accidental deletions, plus protection against cyber attacks. And that's not all. Your AFI M365 backup gives you secure and resilient backups, not only for Entra ID, but also the entire Microsoft 365 data estate, plus all of your VMs and MySQL databases with more features coming soon. And AFI has sponsored this video so you could learn all about it. Now, because this is a SaaS solution, the setup is really quick and easy. Just go to app.afi.ai, Sign in with your global admin and read through all of this stuff and provide your consent and click accept. Now make sure that all of this is correct and then agree to the terms. Then you click next, select your data source as M365, sign in and then read through all this stuff that the Entra app will do for you and click accept. Then select your region and where you wanna store your backups along with your time zone. Check this box and click start. Now, if you already have AFI protecting another service, then you just need to click up here and add a new one. Select it and do the, all the same steps as you did before. And then you're all set. Now, if you go to the protection tab, you'll find all of your Entra ID users, groups, mailboxes, SharePoint sites, teams, power platform, etc. Now the SLA column here is where you can mass manage all of your protection by assigning a backup policy to a group or the whole domain. That way you can choose to automatically protect any newly created resources in the future. And if you go up to the settings tab, you can see exactly what each policy will do. And of course you can click up here and create your own custom policy. Just give it a name, select all the different kinds of data you want to protect along with the schedule and a retention. And that could be at the item level or backup version. And if you pick GFS, you can get really granular. Finally, after your retention period in your policy is over, AFI will retain the backup data for those deleted users and sites, etc., for archiving and compliance purposes as well. Now jump back to the protection tab and let's pick an item here and then assign an SLA. And I'll pick my new custom one and now I can choose to take a backup right now if I want to. And that'll just take a moment or two to complete but you could also click up here and just select an entire section of your cloud or all of your users or all of your sites and assign an SLA that way. Now, what happens if a rogue admin goes in and deletes a bunch of users or resources? Well, you can just recover it. Just go up to the protection tab, select your item that you need to do a restore from, and then you can select from their inbox, or Teams chat, calendar contacts, OneDrive data, whatever it is that you need, and then check the item for the thing that you want to restore. You can either click and download it and save it locally, or you can process a restore job and then put it back where it originally was. And there's even different options if you need to overwrite. Now, if you go back to the overview tab, you have a view of your entire estate and you can force a global backup of everything right here, right now. And if you go to the left, there's a full activity log that tracks absolutely everything. In the configuration section, you can subscribe to the backup reports in whichever one of these tools suits you best. And then all of your admins or backup administrators are all set up and ready to go. But this solution can also work really well for users. See, I know from my time back on the help desk that user calls to do data restores can be really tedious because not only do you have to find the thing that they think that they're talking about, but then you get in there and it's not the right version. You got to do it again and again. Well, just give the users the self-service permissions so that they can handle it. Because if IT has to stop what they're doing every time, it's just going to add work and slow down efficiency. And my dad always told me work smarter, not harder. But if you're going to empower your users to take charge of their own backup and recovery processes, you need a bulletproof strategy so they can't do anything that they're not supposed to. And with a highly granular configuration set like this, it's a breeze. And that way your auditors or HR and legal review and compliance and all those folks can have exactly what they need to do what they need to do without bothering IT. Just go to the service and then the settings and go to the access group tab. 
And here you want to create a new group and just select the abilities that you want them to have. And then you can set them a scope and then pick the user or users that should be in this self-service group. Then you just click save. And now that you know how to protect all of your precious Entra data, you should watch this video because your Azure resources need protection too. And happy learning.